everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Juvia's Place, which is a brand that many of you have probably already heard of. I kind of wanted to do like a video in which I talk to you guys about some of the Juvia's Place products that I already own in my collection. I want to give you guys my opinion on some of the Juvia's Place products that they offer, that the, comp that the company offers currently. I also think that a lot of the Juvia's Place color stories that they have to offer are suitable for different people and I'm just going to give you guys recommendations based on that criteria. So this is going to be a little bit of a more casual video, a little bit more of a mishmash of things. I will say that because I don't own every single Juvia's Place palette there is, I'm unable to give you a good uh, brand review of every single palette that Juvia's Place has to offer. But there are some amazing creators that I have found on YouTube that have Juvia's Place brand videos in which they feature all the palettes that they own from the brand and they have a lot more palettes than me and therefore they can give you a lot of uh, good reviews on all the different palettes that they own. So I only own a few, they own a lot more. So if you're looking for a good consensus, a good overview of what Juvia's Place has to offer, check their videos out, I'll put them down below. But my video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you guys about the palettes that I own, and later on in this video, I'm also gonna give you guys my recommendations based on what I own and what I think is right for people who have different needs. Because I think that a lot of times we are met with brands that have really amazing quality throughout their brand, and it's kind of difficult to sort of discern which palette is right for you. So later on in this video, I will be uh, showing you guys the palettes that I think are right for a specific person for your specific needs. So that will be later on in this video. I will be including timestamps, which will be down below for your convenience. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. I'm going to start off with the palette that I actually don't use that much of at all. And this is a Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. This is a palette that is a little bit of an unfortunate, um, misunderstood palette, I think in my opinion, because a lot of people, myself included, have a hard time using this palette because of the difficult color story, because these are beautiful colors and the quality is absolutely sublime. Juvia's Place is known for pigmentation, known for like blendability. A lot of their shades are absolutely stunning and this is no different, but I feel like at the same time, the layout of this palette um, is kind of difficult to work with. And because of that, it's almost as if I automatically don't reach for this palette as often as I should. That has not prevented me from creating some looks with it. I have done a few looks with this palette that are up on my channel, but I don't use this palette as often as I should. I definitely want to get back into it. This is like one of those palettes that I want to use more of but I just don't. So this is kind of like the my least used palette from Juvia's Place, if you will. My second most least used palette, it actually might surprise a lot of you. This is the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I love this thing. This is so, so pretty. You have 16 shades. I actually have the Masquerade Mini, by the way. Um, there's a full-size masquerade that has like the bigger pans, but this is the masquerade mini. Uh, you have two rows of like really colorful shades and then two rows of rather neutral shades. The quality of this is absolutely beautiful, but a lot of the really colorful shades in this palette actually happen to be like really just vibrant metallics, and that's why I don't open this palette that much because whenever I'm looking for like a, a palette to use in a colorful look, I don't automatically think of this one because of the lack of colorful. Um, matte shades in here. You only have one colorful matte shade in here and that is like this plum color right here. All the other shades that are colorful have some sort of like a shimmer to them or have a metallic tone to them. Then I have this palette. This is such a pretty palette. I absolutely love it and yes it is my second most used palette by Juvia's Place. It is so so pretty. You have nine shades in here. Most of them are colorful even though some of them are neutrals and I absolutely love these shades. I have used this palette many many times on my channel. You have seen many tutorials on it and it's just such a pretty palette. I love this red shade and this shade is absolutely beautiful especially mixed in with this color as a highlight. You can really create a blinding highlight with these two colors. This is such a pretty palette. Definitely one of my favorite palettes like in my entire collection. I love the color store and I work with it a lot. Then I want to talk about 
this palette right here. You might recognize it in my video in which I talked about my top three favorite makeup palettes in my entire collection. This was one of the palettes that I mentioned. This is a selection of 16 different shades and you have two rows of cools and then two rows of more warm tones. Something that is quite interesting about this palette is, again, a lot of people don't actually use this palette because of the like weirdish color story, but I feel like once you start like just sort of thinking of it as two uh, rows warm, two rows uh, cool, you can sort of like create like a little bit of a better idea in your head for what looks you want to create with this palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I used this uh, color for my eyeshadow today and I absolutely love it. It's such a pretty color. I absolutely just am obsessed with it. My hair is being a little bit weird today. But yes, like this is a beautiful palette and I kind of think it's a little bit of an underdog. The only shade in this palette that I've really never reached for is this color right here. I've used it a few times, like there's definitely an indentation in it, but I don't really reach for it that often. I don't really use it. It's just like a basic like bone, um, like just bone like neutral color and I just don't go for it but the other shades I just use and I love so much like these are just some seriously like just beautiful amazing amazing formulas the Juvia's Place eyeshadow quality is simply unparalleled they have a lot of really amazing formulas their metallics are especially beautiful they glide on amazingly and their staying power is especially wonderful their mattes are also great I love them I do think however that the cell point for Juvia's Place eyeshadows goes to the metallics. Whenever I think of Juvia's Place though, I think of the quality of the metallics. I think they are divine. They're so beautiful and I just keep going back to them. I love them so much. I will say though, with the Festival palette, curiously enough, I actually like the uh, mattes more than I like the metallics, which is interesting and I didn't think that I would actually like the metallics the mattes more than the metallics but that's just my experience with this palette maybe as Juvia's Place has uh expanded and sort of developed they have greatly improved their mattes because like this is absolutely amazing and yes I only have four eyeshadow palettes from Juvia's Place a lot a lot of people own every single one of them but I definitely think that uh, based on my knowledge of these four palettes I can definitely say that if you're somebody who for instance likes a lot of neutrals you like going into color but you don't really like going into a lot of color you want some really standout neutral shadows I would definitely recommend the masquerade this is um, a palette that I actually don't use a lot because of how many neutral shadows are present in this palette. These two rows are very neutral and they're very warm and if you're into that you will love this palette and what's great about this palette is that you also have like those two rows up there with amazing pops of color that you can really have fun with as well. However, because of the neutrals, I just don't reach for this palette that often, which is why I did rank it the way I did. But um, yes, I think that if you're somebody that loves a lot of like um, neutrals, you will like this because you can also experiment with it a lot. When I was a little bit more into neutrals, I absolutely used this palette to death. I loved it so much. Now I still love it, but I'm sort of like just, I don't love it as much as I used to. I still can create some amazing colorful looks with it and I've done so, but I'm not nearly as obsessed with it as I used to be. However, if you're like me and you absolutely love your colorful shadows, the Tri palette is a great option. The Zulu palette is fantastic. And the one that I own, the Festival, is also a great option as well. I'd actually love to get the Zulu palette and the Tri palette. Those are two palettes that I would love to add to my class collection. So if you like colorful shadows, you might already own those or you might be eyeing those like me. But I think that the festival is absolutely standout amazing. If you love colorful shadows and you want to experiment more with some like really just rich and vibrant warm mattes as well, this is a great option. However, I will say that if you love, love color and you're willing to work with a little bit of a tricky color story, this is an absolutely amazing option because I love to work with this palette. I think that you can uh, use this palette in conjunction with other palettes as well, with other single shadows, and get some really beautiful looks, or you can use this on your own. I will say that I have uh, created a variety of looks with it, and a lot of times I just use particular shades from this palette to create a certain look, and I just uh, use this palette to supplement other shades or other palettes, and that's the way I like to just utilize this. But all in all, this is just 
literally my most used Juvia's Place palette and that's just how it is. Like I love this palette so much. This is my most used palette and probably my most favorite palette hands down from Juvia's Place tied only with the festival palette because of how much I love these mattes. However, if you want something that's a little bit more colorful and you want something that's a little bit more foolproof, the festival is a good option. Everyone that's like tried this from my uh, viewpoint has really loved this and I love it as well. But this is like one of those things that in my opinion, it's so underrated, but at the same time, I feel like it's for good reason because the color story makes it very difficult for people to actually pick up this palette and use just this palette. That's just the kind of weird thing with this palette. A lot of people don't like it for that reason, but I love it. It is so beautiful, and if I had to pick one palette from Juvia's Place, it would probably be this, even though my heart would literally break because I love all these palettes so much. And I really think that if I have to pick a palette that I really have to get more use out of, it would definitely be the Saharan by Juvia's. Because like this is such like an old school Juvia's Place palette, but the quality is absolutely amazing. It is so pretty, but I really just haven't used it as much as I should. But I really should get back into it. So this is a palette that I should probably um, make a point of using more in the future because I need to get into it. But yeah, all these palettes are absolutely beautiful. And yes, I don't own every Juvia's Place palette and I feel like everyone at this point already does. But I wanted to give you guys a snippet of um, information with regards to my own experience with the brand and my own experience with the shadows and what I would recommend from uh, this particular company, what palettes I would recommend to somebody who loves neutrals versus loves color. There are a few great neutral palettes from Juvia's Place, but I just don't own those palettes. I just own the ones with a little bit of color in them because like that's kind of my style. But yes, I hope that this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!